This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, students. We are continuing the numerical problems on waves and oscillation. So, <clears throat> we'll take one by one problem and then solve them. So, there is a problem here in J J IIT J Advance in 2005. The question is an open pipe, open pipe means both end, ends are open, is in resonance. in second harmonic with frequency with frequency f1 now so the question is like this so when there there is a pipe both side open then it is in resonance with the frequency f1 okay now the now one end is actually closed one end is closed so it becomes a closed pipe Okay, that is what is the scenario. Let us see. Now, one end of the tube is closed. Is closed. And frequency is increased to Frequency is increased Increased to F2 Such that The resonance again Occurs in nth harmonic. Now you have to choose the correct option. I will just write the option for n is equal to 3, f2 is equal to. 3 by 4 F1 option B n is equal to 3 for n is equal to 3 F2 is, is equal to 5 by 4 F1 for C n is equal to 5 and for that you get 3 by 4 F1 this is F2. The last one is N, when N is equal to 5. For that, this, this should give 5 by 4 F1. So these, these are the options. You have to find out the correct option. 
okay <clears throat> let me just discuss once again the question itself so here is one open pipe in the beginning which is which is in resonance with the second harmonic okay second harmonics with the frequency f1 that means you will be able to easily find out what is the value of f1 right resonance condition means what when the natural frequency of vibration of the tube is matching with f1 then only resonance will occur so the natural frequency of vibration for the second harmonics in an open pipe will be f1 okay so that you have to find out we'll solve it later let let me just explain you the problem itself once again now one end of the tube is closed as i was showing you and frequency is increased to f2 it is closed now pipe is closed and also the frequency now has been increased that means f2 greater than f1 now the scenario is f2 greater than f1 okay so in this situation when the frequency is increased to f2 the resonance will again occur at nth harmonics okay resonance will again occur at nth harmonics so nth harmonics here the options are given options are given like n is equal to 3 then what will be f2 what will be f2 f2 is for actually closed pipe that you have to remember okay let us solve this problem now see in case in case of open pipe in case of open pipe the frequency will be n v by l or n by l root over sorry n by l ha, root over this is sorry this will be 2l root over gamma p by rho so this is the nth harmonics expression for the nth harmonics that that is produced in open pipe when it is both side open so second harmonics means a new to so second harmonics means new to if the second harmonics is new to let us write what is this two actually this is this is actually even n is equal to even so 2 into 2 by 2 l into v that is 1 by l into v so this is the frequency which is equal to the frequency of f1 also now in case of closed pipe So in case of closed pipe, what happened? This formula itself will be N V by 4L if if N is one, three, five, seven, like that, odd numbers okay n has to be odd number now in the option some things are given you look n is equal to 3 given, but for 3 there are different values as you know for n is equal to 3 it will be actually 3 by 4 if I write n is equal to 3, then what is the problem? n is equal to 3, 
will get 3 by 4 f1 but in this case look the option is there we can we can see the option is there but the problem is see this f1 for this case f2 is less than f1 for this kind this case okay again for this also the same thing n is equal to 5 first of all this uh, when n is equal to 5 this is not the result that is the first thing and also uh, this f2 is less than f1 which is not ex ex expected okay now let us come to the conclusion so n is equal to 3 if i put and f2 is equal to f2 is equal to 5 by 4 f1 and again n is equal to 5 so here n is equal to 3 it would not it would never give this factor 5 so if it is 3 then it will you will get 3 only here but in this case n is equal to 5 m n is equal to 5 and f2 is equal to 5 by 4 f1 so in this case actually This is also the same thing here. So which one will be the answer for this question? The fifth one will be the question. Sorry, answer for the question. So n is equal to 3 will not give you the 5 over here. That's why this is not, not true. n is equal to 5 also will not give you 3 over here. This is also not true. Okay, here n is equal to 3 would give the numerator 3. But one problem is that f2 cannot be less than f1. Okay, so the fourth option is the feasible option. Okay, so this is how you have to actually check sometime. All right, we'll move on to the second question. So we'll take up the second question the question is suppose there is a tuning fork a tuning fork so second question we are going to solve now oh sorry <clears throat> a tuning fork fork a tuning fork produces sorry i'm really sorry produces produces a beat it produces four bits sorry not a four bit 
beats per second. That means this, uh, this is the bit frequency with one fork. One fork of frequency to eighty eight cycles per second CPS cycles per second. A little wax is placed, a little wax. is placed on the unknown so this is actually application of the bit the unknown fork and it then produces produces two beats per second two beats per second then the frequency of the unknown fork then the frequency of the fork so it will be unknown frequency or the of the unknown fork okay so the question is if there was anyway bits will be produced we have already discussed if uh, two sound uh, two waves of same frequency same amplitude they just travel in uh, travel in the same medium and in the same direction if they in uh, superpose then only there is a possibility of bit produced bit means what sudden increase in intensity and decrease in intensity or sudden change in the intensity you can say so one increase one decrease together constitute a bit so here there are two tuning fork there are two tuning fork one is known and another one is unknown you have to find out what is the frequency natural frequency of the unknown fork see we know that the beats will be actually new one if the new one is one frequency and new two is the another then this will give you the num uh, bit frequency isn't it it you take the difference this will give you bit frequency okay so this when you take the difference then you get the bit frequency that means what you know if this this n1 is a new one is unknown then i can write okay it is something here it is given four so the frequency Known frequency is 288 per, uh, per second cycle. Now, this bit frequency is given as so. What we have to do, you know, in this case. In this case, the unknown frequency could be of two values one is original value plus or minus four so this will give you
this is not plus or 284 any of these two will be the frequency of unknown unknown frequency of the wave so how to now find out whether it will be positive or negative okay suppose the tuning fork unknown tuning fork actually is given some wax to it prank of the uh, prank of the egg uh, is prank of the tuning fork if the wax is uh, applied then generally frequency decreases if suppose the frequency decreases frequency decreases suppose suppose it was 292 and it is decreases decreases means what slightly maybe it will decrease up to this then what will happen the ultimate bit frequency will decrease if this is another frequency bit frequency will decrease so when bit frequency increases bit frequency increases when the unknown frequency is the lower one and that again go down that means the difference between new one and new two becomes very very prominent so in this case what will be the solution in this case sol this case solution is the first answer see First means this uh, 288 for 8 plus 288 plus this CPS. This will be the unknown frequency. Why? Because if decreases, then number of bits also decreasing. Okay, if it is, if it would have been. 2. Point, uh, sorry uh, if it would have been 280 point two eighty minus uh, 4 that means 284 uh, 284 so that would actually give you increase in increase in the bit frequency okay we'll go to the next one what is the next problem the pro next problem is with, is with sonometer a sonometer wire of length 15 meter I'll just write down the problem a sonometer a sonometer wire of length sonometer wire of length 15 meter sorry 15 meter not millimeter It is made of steel. Made of steel. Okay, 15 meter made of steel. The tension it produces 
and elastic strain we'll see the te tension produces an elastic strain an elastic strain of 1% that means the actually the tension is making this change in the in the string now the question is what is the fundamental frequency of the steel what is the fundamental frequency if the density rho is given 7.7 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube and short the elasticity that means coefficient of elasticity that is y y is also given young modulus is given what is y the young modulus y is given those okay 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power 11 meter per second it is actually the young modulus 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter so this this is the question actually so there is a sonometer wire of length 15 meter the tension it uh, produces an elastic strain of 1% then what is the fundamental frequency if the density and the young modulus is given see for this actually you need not do so much what you have to do is you have to you have to first of all write down the expression for the fundamental frequency of of this actually you know like what is the oscillation fundamental frequency of oscillation that is in the string it is given by actually down it is 2l
root over y by rho. This is v by sorry, v v is already gone. This is actually n by two l. And y is y is Young modulus and actually this is 2L. This is fundamental frequency means this is 1 by 2L only fundamental frequency. So here what you have to do you know you have to just write the values. Okay so mm -hmm. what you have been given see this uh, young modulus is given then rho is given length is given and there is actually strain strain uh, sorry stress produced by that actually see young modulus you know here young modulus will be stress by strain so the original formula here actually is t okay t is tension okay tension divided by rho like that okay anyway so we have this now you can just apply this formula to find out the fundamental frequency where rho is given omega uh, this y is given In this case, actually, what you have to do is that here you have to write delta L because this is making a change in the strain. So this will be the final formula. Okay. Y delta L by rho into L. Okay. So now delta L by L is already given one percentage that means we can write now this is the young modulus into dl dl by l we will write together 0. Point Zero point one zero one divided by rho is seven point seven into ten to the three. And here in the beginning you have this. So if you solve all this. This is rho into L DL by L anyway you have already written. So if you solve this problem, what will be the answer? The frequency will be 
178.2 it it will be if you solve this problem so i hope you have understood this problem also we may go to the next problem the fourth problem also will take Okay, so next question. Let us write for production of bead, two sources must have. Now we we'll, we have already uh, learned this kind of things, but still for our recapitulation, we'll write for production of. production of bead the two sources must the two sources must have different different frequencies and same amplitude different frequencies different frequencies and same amplitude amplitude 1 2 is different frequencies option c is different frequencies same amplitude and same phase different frequencies same amplitude tuned and same amplitude and same phase same phase third option a uh, fourth option is different frequencies and same phase different frequencies and same phase so different frequencies and same amplitude okay so these are the okay and this is not amplitude this is the phase last one same phase same phase
okay so you have to answer the question for the production of breed what is the suitable criteria so what is the answer the answer will be the option b different frequencies amplitude may be the same but phase must uh, not necessarily necessarily be the same so frequencies with amplitude may have been a same amplitude okay so it is it is not requiring actually for the production of beat what you need is simply the difference in the, uh, the difference in the waves Okay, so the option four, uh, sorry, option B will be the correct answer. You should have. So we don't, we don't require this amplitude to be the same. This same be, uh, to be the same. So that's why the option B will be the correct answer. But because other cases you may have phase, <coughs> you may have. different actually in case of different phase also you may get the bit different phase amplitude also different but obviously different frequency so that's why the second option is correct okay so this is one question next we'll take another question then we'll stop the class <clears throat> suppose there are two vibrating tuning fork producing wave so the last question two tuning fork two tuning fork sorry tuning fork two tuning fork produce waves okay it produces wave like two produce waves why one why one is equal to four sine 500 pi t and another one is y2 y2 is written as 2 sin 506 I have not six by T.
the options are actually you have to find out the number of bits produced per minute find out number of bits so find out the number of first first will be the number of bit number of bit how many number of bits will be created see here you have to first of all understand the format given here so what is the format in in which format it is given first of all you have to write down that and then we have to proceed so we can see we can actually write this format see there is a format a sign 2 pi new into t this is one type of format so comparing this two we can actually write that 2 pi new is equal to 500 Pi, pi goes of this will be 250. So this is the new one. Suppose so new one is this much hard. Similarly, what is the new two? So here it is. Two pi. See this one. Two pi new two is equal to five not six pi. So pi pi goes of new two will be okay. So these are the frequencies. so how many how many bits will be there so this is actually per second okay so this is a per second per second per second so frequency means this one uh, so new one and new two we have obtained i'm sorry if we have obtained new one and new two new one and new two what was new one 250 and new to 253 to 50 so number of bit if i say b that is 253 minus 250 this is per second see per second per second and in a minute how many in a minute how many oscillations will be there six into that 60 sorry 60 into that
so it will be actually 3 into 60 60 second means one minute per minute it will be then so b will be 180 180 per minute okay this is the number of bit even though amplitudes are different in both cases amplitudes are different you will have seen you might have seen y1 was 4 okay so this was and y2 it was 2 into this so amplitudes may not be the same but still this happens bits happen Okay, so we'll stop it here for today. Next, we'll learn about Doppler effect. Okay, in the next class, we'll learn about Doppler effect. Okay, then, bye for today.